the Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie podcast. I mean, it's a big decision when you name a child and you've got, God, 10 months to think about it. And maybe even prior to that, you think, one day if we have a kid, let's call him Darren. You know, a strong male name like that, or Ian, or Gary. Brett. Brett is beautiful. Or Jean-Paul. Jean-Paul is another suggestion with a bit of an international <laughs> flavour to it. Thank you Which for Whipper the... was close. Mm. That, oh. was on the, that was on the short mm. list. JP Whipfleet. I loved it when we were in the NT and someone was calling you Mick. Did you notice that? Who was calling me Mick? No, Ailing. She, called, she did call you Mick. Did she? Yeah, on one of the... Well, there was Mick's whips up there as well. Yeah. You should have got up with oh. the actual Mick up there. And I kept getting her name wrong. I kept calling her Ulling instead of Ailing. I got quite confused by her name. That's a tough name if you ask me, Ailing. But I don't think you were trying, and I think that is an issue with some names. Uh, and I think in Australia, we're a bit lazy. Yeah, if we don't yeah. understand it, if it's not Steve or Ryan, we don't bother. Well, or I get, Kate. I, I walk into a restaurant, so would you like a seat? What, what name... What, What's your name? Mm. And I'll go Ryan, and they'll go, all right, over here, Ron. <laughs> okay, Brian. How did you get okay, Ron Brian. out of Ryan? Ryan. I mean, that shouldn't be tricky. Ryan. Ron. That should be pretty straightforward. This kid has come out and said, I've got the worst name in the world. He's described it as awful, and he's about to turn 18, and he said, the minute I am, the minute I tick over, uh, guys, I'm changing my name immediately. He wants to change his name to Luke. At the moment, his name is pronounced... Look. So you spell it like look? No. This is how you spell his name. L-E-W-C-K-E-E. That, Isn't that Lu- Lukey? That's Lukey. Lu- Lukey. That's Lukey. Lukey. Which is Australian. Hey, Lukey. Lukey. But it's meant to be pronounced look. But that's oh, not how it looks. On, your mm-hmm. parents are really taking the old P-O-S-S. So he said, this is just a disaster of a name. Nobody nobody understands my name when I introduce myself. And if I ever meet a female, they laugh at me because I've got to introduce myself a hundred times. Hi, I'm Luke. Yeah, see, we... Lukey. We, we went a different spelling for Houston. I mean, Houston, you think of the you, you, the state in a, in America. Yes. Yeah. Hey, um, Houston, we've got H-O-U-S-T-O-N. an issue here. H-O-U-S-T-O-N. <laughs> but see, this is the thing. We just mm. went with H-E-W. Because we knew he was going to be Huey. He was always going to end up to be Huey. Yeah. Oh. So if you do Houston H-O-U, how, do you do, how would you spell Huey? Oh, I see what you mean. You know H-O-U-I-E. G-H. Like Louis. I-E. It's weird. Yeah, I know what you. I know what you were doing. You get there. caught out. Uh, is it Liza in Rose Bay? Yes. Or is it Lisa? Lisa, Lisa, or Liza? <laughs> okay. And well, what do you Lisa. get? All, what, do you, what do you get all the time? So my name is Liza. I was named after Liza Vanelli. My mom was a little obsessed when I was born. Yeah. Um, but when I introduce myself, I'm like, "Hi, my name's Liza." Then we'll have a conversation. Then at the end of the conversation, I go, "Bye, Lisa." And then I think, when the conversation did I say so my Lisa, name wrong? Yeah. Where was <laughs> the S? Where the... It's Lisa or Eliza or Eliza. Yeah, and I'm then like... my friends kind of shorten it to Lizy. I'm like, especially in Australia. Yeah, I'm like, it's funny. I think... Liar. I would call you the liar. liar. See you later, liar. <laughs> um, Lydia is it? such a liar. Yeah. Lydia, so, um, what name do you get? Um, My name's Lydia, and... Every time that I have a substitute teacher in class, they somehow call me Linda. And so I'll just be sitting there waiting for someone to respond to the name Linda. Um, and then it'll turn out that it's me, and I'm just wondering where the end came from. Yeah, isn't it? It's not is fair, it isn't it? so annoying? Is it for a, ki- for a kid, though, when one of your friends gets called or they pronounce your name wrong, it is the best it's thing the ever. Funniest. <laughs> Thing. I think it's even around here if somebody takes the liberty of calling me Katie and I've never yeah. met them before. Well, I can see, There's like a silent alarm that goes off <laughs> in the room. Like, well, oh, she's I, not going to be happy with that. I still remember my best mate used to live with David Manhood and in the mail one day he got a letter <laughs> for David Manhead <laughs> and for the rest of his life he's been known as Manhead. What about, what about Jamesy? And he gets called oh, yeah, James so Health. He's, he, oh, J- Healthy. <laughs> So he's Heath James. He's oh man, even I'm stuffing it up. Health James. He, no, he's Heath James, right? Yeah. So he gets he gets Heath Jones. He gets Keith Jones. <laughs> 
he rocked up. He rocked up to Thailand, and there was a guy there with a sign saying "Health James." <laughs> It's too good. It's so simple but hilarious. Thanks for your call, Chlamydia. Um, (laughs) Vanishka, is it? Uh, Yeah, my name is Vanishka. So it's like, so uh, everyone pronounces my name as Vanishka. And then my last name is Aya, I Y E R. But everyone pronounces it as Liar with an L for some reason. Awesome. So so I always have to tell them, no, it's actually Vanishka. And some cases it ends up getting even worse, like Vanishi and other weird stuff. Venetia liar. Uh, and I think sometimes the, too the blinds when you, tr- <laughs> when you try and fix it they just stare at you blankly like I'm not going to remember that and I'm not going to try. <laughs> what, are you, did, what did you cop at high school Van Sheikha? Did you get did you get a nickname? Well I'm still 11 now I'm still in year 6 so it's just like my teachers sometimes when I first start the year they're just like finish and I once got my report and um, they saw my name wrong on one of them and I had to go back and I told them it's actually a bench they're like oh yeah I remember now so wait up you're in year 6 is, is that true are you, are you 11 or 12 yeah. What? So you sound you very sound mature. You do. Ben Sheikha is driving. <laughs> you're, dropping, you're dropping your mum off at work. She's on a farm <laughs> driving the youth. Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.